I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Walt Whitman. I take three fingers over here on the left, right about here I put a dot. And from that dot I draw a straight line up, straight diagonal up, curve line down, and leave it floating. Come down about to here and we're just going to draw a big curve line up, connect, over, connect, down, and leave it floating. Come back over here on the left and we're just going to draw a wavy line down, keep going all the way, and leave it floating. Come back up to the right and we're going to draw a curve line out, wavy line down, keep going, keep going, connect. We come inside and we're just going to put a dot on the left and we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line up, wavy, wavy line down, connect. Come on the right hand side, put a dot, we're going to draw a wavy, wavy line up, wavy, wavy line back, and connect. Right down below on the left, we're just going to draw a curved line up over, connect, put a little curve line inside. Come on the right hand side, we're going to draw a curve line up, over, down, connect, and put another little curve line inside. Come right here in the center and we're just going to draw a curve line out, little curve line down, little curve line down, curve line up, over, and connect. Right about here underneath we're just going to draw a curve line but we're going to put a little curve line up on the right, come back to the left, little curve line up on the left. Okay. Now come over here on the left. We're going to connect that line to the main section and now we're going to come up and draw a curve line over connect to the right, we're going to come back to the left and we're going to draw a wavy line up, down, up, down, up, down, and leave it floating. Jump over and now we're going to draw a wavy line up, 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 and leave it floating. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a big curve line down off the page. And now inside we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line. Okay, let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, we're going to start down here with a gray and we're just going to loop-de-loop -loop this space. Now you have to remember that Walt Whitman was alive during the 1800s up to almost the turn of the century, but most people didn't have, especially him, a lot of fancy clothes. So they would wear grays, browns as their main wear. Then his whole entire countenance is all this huge white beard. So you don't have to worry about that, coloring it in. But what I did do is I used my multicultural crayon, which is like apricot or peach, and I just colored in this space right here. And I'm not going to even touch his uh, eyebrows or his beard. We're just going to leave those white like the paper. Next, I'm using a different color, brown, to do his hat, to do this space. I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop that in this space up here. And then I'm not sure 
what color his eyes are really. So I'm going to do blue because it seems like he would have blue eyes, but I could be wrong. But I'm going to do that artistic license. So I'm making these blue. And then because he needs a pop of color, I'm just going to use my regular green background straight lines. Walt Whitman, famous, famous American poet. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Walt Whitman all colored in. He wrote Leaves of Grass, which was a major, major accomplishment in free verse poetry. He made art with words. And he influenced later poets like Langston Hughes. Okay, bye-bye.